Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle, and today I want to talk about the Call of Duty Ghost Nuke, um, the KEM Strike, also known as the Odin Strike. Um, and, and a lot of people think this is going to be the big kill streak of COD Ghost. It's going to be the Nuke of MW2, the Moab of MW3, um, when really it's not. It, it's not as hype as everyone assumes. Um, the reason why, it's more of a, a mini nuke, and it's only going to be available, and don't take my word for this, but I'm pretty sure it's only going to be available on the map Strike Zone. Now, people yesterday at the multiplayer reveal were saying it can be, uh, you can only get it on certain maps, but really people were just getting it on the map Strike Zone, which then got me thinking, you know, getting an Odin Strike to be called in on the Strike Zone it kind of connects, you know, the, the map name and the kill streak name. It makes sense that it would only be that map. Now, if I'm wrong, it could be other maps. But I've also heard that it can only be in certain game modes, which is probably going to be, um, it's probably only going to be in the game modes that generate more than a couple kills a game or round, um, more like Team Deathmatch or Demolition or something like that rather than Search and Destroy. Um, but yeah, it's actually really cool because it's going to change the map layout. Now, Modern Warfare 3, the Moab, it, it, it killed the entire enemy team, and it made the map orangey, and it made it look like it had actually got nuked, except nothing on the map really changed. It's just the color and the way it looked. In this game, in Ghosts, it's going to change the map completely. There's going to be um, buildings falling. Uh, there's going to be walls crumbling. There's going to be things moving around the map to make it different, to make it more enjoyable, more competitive, and you're not going to be able to memorize the map as easy uh, when someone calls in this mini nuke because things are going to be changing all around you. And even without this nuke, the maps are going to be constantly changing uh, because they're more dynamic, there's more um, involvement within the maps. But with this nuke, it's going to be crazy. I mean, being able to change the map by one kill streak is pretty cool. Um, so. What does it do? It kills the entire enemy team, but it doesn't in the game. It's kind of like the Moab from MW3. Um, so it's pretty cool. I really do think it's going to be a game changer, um, especially with the map falling apart. <laughs> uh, I do find it upsetting that it's only on one map, or if I'm wrong, a couple maps. Maybe there's going to be a bigger kill streak. You know, maybe there's like a, a nuclear in COD Ghosts where now it's 30 kills or 25 kills. Or I don't know. Hopefully, something um, that we will enjoy like the nuke from MW2 or the Moab from MW3. So let's talk about how to get this. Now, a lot of people have been saying different things on what you have to do, who you have to kill, how to get it, when really I think that the main way to get this is to shoot, and keep in mind this is only in certain game modes, but you have to shoot um, the top player on the enemy team. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen every time, most likely not. It's probably only in certain situations or um, at a certain time in the match. or I don't know. There's a lot probably they come to factor in um, to, to be able to get this. But when you kill the top player on the enemy team, if you get it, he will drop a blue briefcase. Now, if you've already heard this, you already know it's going to come. But he will drop a blue briefcase, which then you pick it up. And it gives you um, field orders, which are little challenges like, you know, get a headshot with an enemy gun. You know, pick up an enemy gun, get two kills. Lay down, drop shot, like uh, lay on the ground and get three kills. The, the trick is you have to complete this field order without dying. You can only do it on that life. If you die, it's over. There's no chance. What's cool is if you can complete that field order in that life, you automatically get a care package. Now, here's what what's really cool that a lot of people don't understand is that let's go away from the map strike zone. You can do this on every other map, but it's not going to give you the Odin strike. It will give you a care package. If you complete the field order um, in the life, it will give you an automatic care package, which is kind of just like a surprise, I guess. It's just a care package. It's like you earning a care package, I guess, where on the map strike zone, it's going to give you the care package with the Odin strike in it. So the, I guess the hardest part is going to be calling in the care package and getting it, you know, getting the Odin strike without someone killing you. Um, so yeah, that's how you get it. That's how you do it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see how this all comes together and uh, to see how it changes the map. I'm, I'm really interested and I hope you guys are too. Um, subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and I will talk to you guys later.